Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video of the Ross questions and answers section. In this case, for the video of today, we are going to be answering this uh, question, this quite uh, simple question that I found in Ross answers, which is creating a launch file for running three separate nodes. So I want to create a launch file for this node coming after Ross run. So it's basically this node here, the arm armrise-listener.py and then the file should trigger below nodes coming after ROS launch. So, uh, besides this node, he also wants to launch uh, a couple of launch files inside his own launch file. Yeah, so it will launch this node here and then this launch file will launch another node and this one will launch another node. And all of these inside the same launch file. Yeah, so yeah, let's go. For that we are going to use RDS in order to create a simple example where we can show how to do this. So let's create a new project. Launch file. Let's call it like this, for instance. Launch file project. Okay. So create and then we are going to open the project. There we are. Excellent. And then let's wait a few moments until the environment loads. There we are. Great. So yeah, let's now open a let's open a shell. I'm going to also open an IDE in order to visualize all the files I'm I create. So let's go to the Catkin workspace in this case because it's not simulation or notebook and it's nothing related to artificial intelligence. So I'm going to use the Catkin workspace to create my packages, my test packages. There we are. And then let's let's create three simple packages. For instance, package one. Let's add Rospy as dependency. Then let's create a package two. And uh, package three. Now, if I come here to the Kakin workspace inside the source folder, yeah, there we are. Here I have my my packages: package one, package two, and package three. Okay. So, for instance, let's say in this package I'm going to add a source code, a Python code. So, new file. I'm going to name it test one dot py. And let's create a very simple Python code here. So I'm just going to put, I need to set up the environment, the Python environment first. Then I'm going to import Rospy. Let's create a node, which can be called node one. And then let's just print something. Let's do a print here that says this is uh, launch one, for instance. Yeah, excellent. Then let's create the same for package two and package three. So let me copy and paste this file here, paste and paste. Then let's call this one test 2 and this one test 3. Let's modify here the node name to node 2 and this is launch 2. And the same here with node 3 and launch, this is launch 3. Okay, great. So for the first one, He's not using a, a launch file, he's executing directly ROS run. So for this first one, I'm not going to... Well, actually, I'm going to create a launch file. So let's create here a folder, which is called launch. And let's create a new file here, which is called launch1.launch. There we are. So let's do the same for all the packages launch folder and launch folder and then let's copy this file to here and here okay then yeah let's close this we can close the python codes 
let's make this sorry a little bit bigger there we are so for the launch file uh, sorry first of all of course it's the launch tag so let's switch this to XML by the way so that we have it highlighted okay so yeah I'm going to start here first of all my node the node I have in package 1 so first of all I need to specify package 1 then the, mm, fi the file name is test1.py then the name of the node it's note 1 remember so the name of the node is note 1 and finally I'm going to put the output to the screen to visualize everything uh, yeah that's it so let's save this then now I could yeah let me first of all close this so now this is going to start the the test one py uh, code yeah so it's going to execute this python file okay this launch file here so now let's sorry let's oops there we are let's copy this to launch to dot launch then let's change the package name the Python file name and the note name. Excellent. And let's do the same for launch the launch file of the package 3. So launch 3. And this is package 3. Test 3 and note 3. Okay, excellent. So I have created a uh, structure. I have my three packages, package 1, package 2, and package 3 with its Python codes and its launch files. So, for instance, let's test this. If we do a uh, ROS launch of the package 1 and launch 1.launch, dot dot launch. okay, I need to make these files executable. So, let me do it very quick package 1 src as you can see they don't have execution permission so I need to add these execution permissions with this x uh, ch mode plus x and the name of the of the file as you can see now this x have appeared so now this file has execution permissions also it has turned it to green color so let's do the same for package 2 src plus x test 2.py there we are and package 3 src tmod x test 3.py okay yeah there we are so let's try again this package 1 launch file there we are Okay, and as you can see, I can be, I can see here the the print of the code, which says this is launch one. Yeah, so I'm seeing here the this print. Yeah, this is launch one. This is because I have added the, here the output screen. So everything that goes on in the code, I will visualize it in the screen. Yeah. So here I have the this is launch one. Let's stop this, and let's try the same for package two launch two. And then here we should see the this uh, print, but this is launch two. So let's see if this is working. There we are. Here we have the this is launch two. Yeah. So let's finally test this for package three. And launch three. There we are. And here we have the this is launch three. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is to execute all this in one single launch file in the launch file of the of the package one yeah so what will I need to do here it's very simple 
basically I will need to add here I will need to add here an include tag and there we are so here I have one include and I will need another one for the other launch file there we are and now here I need to specify the launch file I want to include so in this case the launch files are let me check this so the path is okay src package 2 launch and the name is launch 2 dot launch there we are and then let's do the same for the other launch file which is package 3 and launch 3 there we are so now I have included these launch files the launch 2 and launch 3 inside this launch file yeah so first of all I will run my test.py Python code and then I will execute first this launch 2.launch and then the launch 3.launch so basically the sequence will be that first of all I will see the code of my of my python of my test1.py so I will see this this is launch1 then I will see the this is launch2 from the test2.py and finally I will see the this is launch3 from the test3.py if everything goes okay yeah, if I haven't done any mistake, it should be like this. So let's let's test it. So I'm going to do a ROS launch of uh, package one launch one dot launch, and let's see what happens here. Okay, yeah. So there you are. So as you can see, first of all, the node one is started, node two and node three are started. Then I can visualize here that this is launch one then after the this is launch 2 and finally this is launch 3 okay so it's working as you can see it's very simple to include uh, other launch files into one file yeah so yeah that's it basically here as you can see he has updated the 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 question with already a solution made here but he, but he still says hey i'm having an error here this error is caused because the name it's not the name of the python file you want to execute yes so you are putting here inside the type this is okay you are putting the name of the python file uh, he's putting the name of the python file he wants to execute but then he's putting again the python file in the name attribute yes and as you can see the name attribute is for the name of the node that you are initializing in the code so in my test1.py file I am initializing the node 1 ROS node yeah and this is what you have to put into the name tag not the python file yeah so this is why you are getting this error here uh, so yeah that's all I hope you have enjoyed the video of today I hope you have learned something new and well if you have liked the video please leave a like subscribe to our channel we keep publishing videos every day very inter interesting videos and yeah that's all see you in the next video goodbye